This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General Pipe Cleaner's Super V Drain Cleaner. This video does not include a complete list of all recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of these safety procedures while using these machines can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Refer to the operator's manual for more information. Hi, I'm Mark from the Home Depot Rental Center. When you need a drain cleaning machine that'll safely and effectively clear clogs in kitchen or bathroom sinks or laundry tubs, we offer the Super V from General Pipe Cleaners. To determine the right drain cleaner for your job, you'll need to locate the source of the problem first. If only one drain in the house is backed up, the clog is likely to be in the smaller line leading directly from that drain. If the clog is in a sink or laundry tub, then the Super V is the right tool for your job. If the clog is in a small floor drain, clean out, or a roof stack, or if several drains are affected, then a larger drain cleaner is required. Get with your rental associate to help determine the right drain cleaner for your job. This machine provides a safe, clean way to clear clogged drains. However, as with any power tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you operate the machine. When using the unit, be sure to read all safety and operational guidelines outlined in the operator's manual and wear the proper safety gear. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris thrown from the rotating cable or drain opening. Wear only leather gloves to protect your hands while handling the cable. Never use any other type of glove, such as cloth, rubber, or coated gloves. Your rental associate will provide you with a free pair with your rental. Avoid wearing any loose clothing or jewelry, as these could become wrapped around the cable and cause serious injury. Before getting started, check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Be sure the machine is plugged into a properly grounded outlet. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord no more than 50 feet long. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Do not operate the machine while standing in water, and never use the machine in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Keep clear of the rotating drum or other rotating parts. As you run the drain cleaner, never grasp a rotating cable with a rag, as it could become wrapped around the cable and cause serious injury. Operating this machine is a one-person job. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. If you leave the machine unattended, always pull out the plug. When you're ready to start, slide the grip shield forward. This unlocks the cable. Pull the cable out of the drum and push it into the drain until you meet resistance. Leave about six inches of cable between the Super V and the drain opening. Pull back on the grip shield to lock the cable into place. Make sure the switch is in the forward position, then squeeze the trigger slowly to avoid torque buildup. Push the Super V gently forward. When you get to the drain opening, stop. Slide the grip shield forward. Then pull a few more inches of cable out of the drum. Pull back on the grip shield and squeeze the trigger. Then move the machine toward the drain opening again. Once you get past the first bend in the line, you shouldn't have to pull the cable out of the machine anymore. Just pull the grip shield forward and move the Super V back from the drain. The cable will come out of the drum by itself. Don't force the cable into the drain. You won't clear the line any faster, and you could damage the cable or seriously injure yourself. The cable must turn freely as the drum rotates. If it jams, the cable will build up torque, start to buckle, and then in the blink of an eye, twist itself into a series of loops. If your hands are caught in a loop, you risk severe injury. Again, do not force the cable. If the cable begins to buckle or twist, immediately stop the tool. Then slide the grip shield forward and push any excess cable back into the drum before continuing. Go slow and don't force the cable. When you meet resistance in the line, move the tool back and forth until the resistance lessens and the cable moves freely again. Keep repeating the same procedure, slowly working the cable into the drain a few inches at a time until the line is clear. Always keep the Super V trigger switch in the forward position, whether you're feeding cable into the drain or pulling it out. Use reverse only to release the cable if it gets stuck. If this happens, switch the motor to reverse, pull back on the grip shield, 
and run the machine for only a few seconds at a time. Running the machine in reverse longer can damage the cable. When the cable pulls free, put the switch back and forward. Continue slowly working the cable into the drain a few inches at a time until the drain is clear. After the drain is clear, with the trigger switch in the forward position, slowly pull the cable out of the drain and feed it back into the drum. When you get close to the end of the cable, stop the machine and pull the cable out of the drain carefully. Never retract the cable from the drain while the cable is rotating. The cable could whip and cause serious injury. Now unplug the machine. Prior to returning the tool back to the rental center, be sure to secure the drain cleaner in your vehicle to prevent damage during transit. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rental to learn more about the best tools for your next project.